<clears throat> thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the Honorable Dilaki Baraka for his question. Madam Speaker, um, I had alluded to this earlier, but the, um, just for his information, the Ministry had issued a total of 318 approval notices of uh, lease in, in three divisions, Madam Speaker, of which Navoa uh, falls under the, the Central Eastern Division. Madam Speaker, on the, on the 2nd of February uh, 2017, the Honorable Prime Minister uh, issued 68 approval notices in, the Nav in, the, in Navoa to the following settlements, Madam Speaker. There was Naitata uh, with 35, there was uh, Vakadengu with 25, Tokotok with four and Wadivendio with four. This, Madam Speaker, benefited about 68 families and the total cost to government uh, for the above set, for the settlements, which included the survey and other administrative costs, was $33,329.68. Madam Speaker, the, the issuance of these leases, or eventually the leases proper, gives these people security of tenure and also access to to infrastructure and, and improves their living standards, obviously. And furthermore, it, it gives them access, Madam Speaker, to lending institutions. The subdivision um, has, at the moment, uh, basic uh, utilities, Madam Speaker, and the Ministry is actually currently working on phase two uh, of the development of these particular settlements, which will mean that there will be uh, proper water rectification work, earthworks, which is leveling the, and, and filling and construction of proper roads and drainage communal septic tanks, etc., and also installation of electricity proper. We will continue, Madam Speaker, on the same modus operandi uh, with respect to all the informal settlements around the country, Madam Speaker, being regularized. I thank you.